Broadcasting live from Lavile Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 40 Nightmares. You know why this team is named that? Because their fans are known to wake up in a cold sweat screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I don't blame them. Don't poke fun at their city, Grim. Plenty of great places to eat if you like vegan. Hey, I love to eat vegan, but they always whine when you're cooking them. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Baltimore Razors battle. The San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a house killer with Shiva. I am a killer of Shiva. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrill, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, bricks. This is gonna get ugly fast. Stumbling, he could go all the way! And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First down and six. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll be second down. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to And the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. Second down and two. Hot, one, hot two. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And it's first and ten. Second down, and he's tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. And it's first and ten. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Second down and long. 
yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. And he just wrestles away from that. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And the ball things. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 10. It's a touchdown. Any mistakes here? Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a problem. Oh, with the brain scram. And it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten.
Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And that is caught for a first down. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. shoe size because he just walked all over him second down and nine first down he was not going to drop that one they need to make him a target more often and it's first and ten Extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. I personally think the ginormous. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And he's off to the races. He scores! Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. You can't keep a good mutant down. Fighting for every a nice run there for eight yards. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Third down in, the punter is warming up. He's got his beast boost working, and they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Straight through the uprights. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. Man, these guys. 
guys have and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore <laughs> boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Deflected the ball. Third down and three. analysis as always there, Bricks. Uh, thank you, I do my part. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league we're mad. And this riff is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. If they don't pick it up here, offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Oh, and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are going to flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And it's first and ten. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the pick. Man, what a hit that was. First and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel yeah, oh and that one's gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's 
first and ten. This guy's a brick shit house. That was a nice piece of running, Ben. That's a first down. And quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You gotta use them smart if you wanna score. Let's see if they did. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go into a strip tease show, where are we going? Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Yeah, man, I was, he was going to get him now. He over here. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit... Look out, that's an all-out attack. Up. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service yes. located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Man, this new QB don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sideline. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, nice hit. First and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Briggs? Psycho killer! Just gonna say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Quinn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. First down. And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Man, tell him. Run! No, 
I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. I... I... What? I... And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he just used his beast boost dirty trick and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at him freak go. He's unstoppable. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Down an eight. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Third and two. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall down. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
QB, I'd be pissed! Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Hot one, hot two, hot... hot oh, two. and he just turns ginormous. Look out! And another interception. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 He's not going down. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Third down and five. Two, three, three. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And the Nightmares forfeit and lose the game at home. Well, there's no good way to lose, but uh, this was clearly the worst way to lose. Am I right, Bricks? It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.